Hey Musties! Before we begin this review of NECA and Mothra 2019, I want to let you know that this video may contain some minor spoilers for the film Godzilla King of the Monsters, now in theaters. If you saw my previous video, then you know that these are now technically available at retail shops. Granted, different stores get them at different times depending on the shipping routes. But here we have NECA Mothra 2019. First up, I do love this box art right here. Look at that. Even though that's not nearly close to what Mother actually looks like in the film. It's got this golden wasp look to it. I don't know if this is official concept art for the movie or if this is something that NECA commissioned. Here we got the MonsterVerse logo. I really hope the MonsterVerse continues despite the poor performance of this new movie. We'll have to test this and see if it really is 12.5 inches wide, the wingspan. This is what the figure actually looks like. That is a lot more accurate than the movie. Now we're still waiting on the Rodan figure, which last I checked, I think it's scheduled for a September 2019 release date. The Godzilla figure is already available. Uh, there is an, a variant of the blue atomic ray paint job that's coming out in September also, I believe the same day as the Rodan figure. Here's a little bio if you want to pause and read it. Alright, let's open up the little window seal here and get a look. From the window sill, mine looks like it has a great paint job. It's interesting if they chose to go with this cocoon hatching base, especially since we never really see her break out of the cocoon. We see her start to. Now, you're never going to get an absolutely perfect paint job with these figures. They're going to vary a little bit, but so far I have absolutely no complaints about this. In fact, when you compare the detailed paint job here, this is amazing compared to the sloppy paint job we got with the eyes on this Godzilla 2019 figure. Now, if I recall correctly, NECA did say they have one more Godzilla 2019 figure coming out later this year. I wonder if we'll ever get a Mothra larva form figure. I would love that, but it would have to just be a little bonus figure, considering the figure would only be about this big right here. <laughs> but we're going to pop her open. Alright, first up we have this the display stand here which it's always nice that NECA crafts all these new stands here based on their figures they don't just give you one universal stand and here we have the base now this is awesome that they didn't just give us a clear plastic base and the best thing about this is that it gives us a better look at the cocoon which I can't even tell if this is movie accurate because we don't get to see this in detail in the movie and they definitely don't show up any close-up looks of this uh, monarch built cage around it at least not that I recall but this is a more in-depth look at the movie just by having this figure right here very beautifully done it's got a nice little bluish glow down here from the bioluminescence nothing spectacular down here but that is great pardon the sirens we got Godzilla attacking in the background. And here is the figure itself, what everybody really wants to see. Very, very delicate, but very beautiful. Look at that detail. Why can't every Godzilla figure that NECA does look like this? And let me see, there's some translucent to these wings here. So let's try to, yeah. You can see my finger behind that there. Very, very beautifully done. Let's see here if the... Yes, even these smaller fold wings, I don't know what you would call that on a moth. I'm not a biologist. But 
just look at that. Even the smaller wings have translucence to them. Here is a look at the scale comparison. Yeah, this Mothra is definitely longer wingspan wise than Godzilla is from head to tail. Granted, I assume if you lay this down and stretch out the tail, Godzilla will be a little bit longer. I think the movie did a great job at portraying Mothra as so tiny body wise compared to Godzilla yet she can still be equally as powerful. All right, let's move some things to the side and get into articulation. Yes, these wings are nice little hinges, but they're sturdy enough that you can move them around. You can even fold them downward some. Look at that pose. Smaller wings also move. I believe the color scheme is based on the monarch butterfly which makes me wonder what are they implying by naming the government organization Monarch. Is it a homage to the butterfly, the Mothra? Is it implying that in future films Monarch's gonna take a metamorphosis, become a different government program, a different interest? Or am I just over speculating here? But look at the detail on this here, the, the sculpt here. Not only do we have like fingerprint like patterns here, but just the way the veins, the structure of the wings are designed here. The box advertises posable wings, but we also do have ball joint legs here that allow them to move. These front legs, these do not move. They're stuck in place. And that's pretty much it for our articulation. You got the, the four wings move, and then you got four of the legs that move. Let's get a tape measure out and see if she really is 12.5 inches wide. Yes, the wingspan on this measures about 12.5 inches. They did not overestimate or undersell it in any way. All right, let's get her in her stand and see how tall she is. To display, you move her largest arms up and you would place it right here in the stomach area. And that actually fits very well balanced in there. And would you look at the way she's able to just hover right above Godzilla here. I know it's hard to see on I know it's hard to see on here guys, but she's just about seven and a half inches tall on top of the pole. Alright Musties, do you have them both already? Are you getting all of them? And if you still want that King Ghidorah figure, which NECA has turned down, or at least denied for now, let people know in the comment section below that you would be willing to pay more for a King Ghidorah figure. If this is only 24 bucks, 25 bucks each. A King Ghidorah, which isn't even twice the size of this, there's no reason that it should be like $150. It should be $50, maybe even 75 bucks at the most. All right, Monsties, thanks for watching.